Hello and welcome, this is Nandini Hirani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. White Islands Volcano Eruption, New Zealand Desperate efforts are underway to locate any additional survivors of a deadly volcanic eruption on New Zealand's White Island Monday, which killed at least five people and injured at least a dozen more. The eruption took place with little warning early Monday afternoon local time while dozens of tourists from nearby cruise ship Ovation of the Seas were touring the volcano. New Zealand is located in one of the world's most tectonically located areas. Volcanologists said that while the eruption was relatively small compared to other past disasters, anyone close to the site would have been in serious danger. So far, 23 people have been evacuated from the island since the eruption, according to New Zealand National Operation Commander Deputy Commissioner, all with some degrees of injuries. The five who have since died were among the evacuees. So far, 23 people have been evacuated from the island since the eruption, according to New Zealand National Operation Commander Deputy Commissioner, all with some degree of injuries. The five who have since died were among the evacuees. White Island, also called Wakhari, is the country's most active volcano. It has been built up by more than 1,50,000 years of volcanic activity. Despite that, the privately owned islands is a tourist destination with frequent day tours and science flight available. Police have said fewer than 50 people were on the island when the volcano erupted. Deputy Police Commissioner reports that both New Zealand and overseas tourists were believed to be involved. Some of those injured are in the critical condition, Radio New Zealand reported. The eruption of White Island began at about 14.11 local time. The New Zealand Defence Force is now helping the rescue operations. A military plane has carried out surveillance and two helicopters and personnel are ready to assist. Police initially said there were 100 people on or near the island but later revised down to the number of 50. On 3rd December, geological hazard monitoring website GeoNet warned the volcano may be entering a period where eruptive activity is likely than normal. Although it added the current level of activity does not pose a direct hazard to visitors. According to the GeoNet website, more than 10,000 people visit the island every year. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nandini Hirani. For more news updates like these, please subscribe our channel.